Main parking lot for the fair fills up. People find front lawns and neighborhood driveways to park on. KSBY's Megan Healy spoke with fairgoers and neighbors and joins us live in Paso Robles with how people are getting to the Mid-State Fair. Megan? Well, Richard, this is where the line starts to pick up your Uber or Lyft. You can see that some of these cars have already lined up. Now, we did check the app moments ago and it doesn't seem to be a surge pricing but that is expected to get even busier as this concert and the fair lets out so this is where you're going to want to come if you are wanting to call an uber or lyft but if you decided to drive well there's plenty of parking you'll just have to pay for it inside the fairgrounds you can get good eats and tasty treats but outside the gates people are buying homemade parking spots parking, parking 15 to the right it's only a couple of blocks away and it's uh, five dollars cheaper so we're trying to save that money so we can spend it in the fair front yards turned into makeshift parking lots and it's been a long time tradition for areas around the fair so we saw um, other people um, on our street like in this area doing it and we said um well that's a good idea to make some extra money Members of a local fraternal service organization have 120 spots just a few steps from the fair. They're hoping this weekend will be as busy as opening day. By 7.30 it was super hectic because we were full and we had people looking to trying to get in. They say at one point they had to turn people away. People coming in to the point that we had to stop them because <laughs> we didn't have any more space and then people were still waiting for somebody else to leave so they could come in. They say the money brought in this year will go towards the organization's charities. Others say the two week long pop up business helps offset living costs. Uh, 3000 I think is perfect man. It's help to pay bills or whatever. And for some it's become a family tradition. Our kids that talked us into it. So they, they go out there, they uh, call in the cars, we just park them. And earlier today, I was driving down Riverside just a little bit down that way, and I was shocked to see that a lot of these makeshift parking lots were almost on every single corner, almost out in front of every single house, and a lot of them to full capacity. Now, I also spoke to some Uber drivers who said opening day was the busiest day with back to back rides, and they expect a surge pricing going into this weekend. I'm live in Paso Robles, Megan Healy, KSPY News. All right, Megan, thank you. That the fare is charging $20 for parking and profits benefit local organizations.